how's it going? Jacob from EasyPC here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some ways that you can improve internet speed for gaming. I'm going to walk you through 14 steps that will teach you how to improve your internet speed. And these are all things that I've tried myself back when I was a kid playing Xbox 360 back in the day. I remember I'd be one off of a nuke or just having a lot of fun on Grand Theft Auto, and then all of a sudden I started lagging like crazy. So one minute I'd be kicking ass, and the next I was yelling at my sister to get off the Wi-Fi because I knew she was watching some stupid YouTube video that was screwing up my games. Although, I guess you'd say my games were stupid. Either way, I tried every trick in the book to improve my internet connection speed. Some worked, some didn't. And in this article, I'm going to share my top 14 tips that'll help you improve your internet speed for gaming. These tips actually work, I've tested them myself, and if you do all of them or most of them, you should see an improvement. But before I begin, I do want to say, if you're trying all these things and they don't work, you probably just have to upgrade your Wi-Fi provider and get a better package. It's the easiest way to fix this issue, but if you're strapped for cash, some of these techniques are going to really, really help you. Let's start out by talking about what a good internet speed is for gaming. According to Xfinity, most game console manufacturers recommend at least 3 megabits per second of download speed and 0.5 megabits to 1 and a half, sorry, to 1 megabit per second of upload speed. But remember, those numbers are purely for gaming, meaning if you have anyone else using the network, you should have more bandwidth available, right? So that's all that's what you need for just gaming. But if that's your total network capacity and you've got three other people on the Wi-Fi, you're screwed. So you might need to upgrade if that's the case or do some of these things that will increase your speed. So let's get into my 14 tips that will teach you how to speed up your internet for free. Number one is going to be check your internet speed. So you can use a really cool tool called Internet Speed Test. You go to the website. Actually, if you search it, I think in Google, it'll just pop up. You can just click run and pretty much it will test your upload, download and ping. And you'll get that back within 30 seconds. Totally free. Really, really awesome tool. And you can use these numbers to uh, essentially benchmark where you're at right now and you can then test every single time you try one of these tricks and uh, see if it's having an effect on your speed and if you do see an effect you know that you're headed in the right direction so write down those numbers before you continue watching and uh, I'll have a link to it down below in the description or if you're watching this video directly on my post on my website you can just click the link that's down below now the first thing you should try is actually restarting your modem or router and I know Everyone's going to hate me for this, but it's true. It really does help a lot. And you'd be surprised how often a simple reset can actually boost your internet speed. I'm like my grandmother's main tech support guy. And whenever she has a problem, the first thing I usually try is restarting her phone or computer. And typically the problem goes away. The same is true for your internet. If you restart your router, you will probably find some benefit before you have to take more drastic action. The next tip on my list, number two, is move your router to a central location. If you're gaming far away from your router, it's going to be a problem, especially if you have a giant house with a bunch of walls in between you and the router, or just a lot of distance. The more between you and your router, the slower your internet speeds will be, and this goes for both physical distance and things in the way, like walls and furniture. So moving your gaming setup closer to your router is one way to alleviate this issue, but if you can't move your setup, try moving your router. It's going to help you and everyone else in your house. But if you can't move your gaming setup or you can't move your router for whatever reason, then using a Wi-Fi extender is the next best thing. You can actually plug this guy in the wall. My grandma has one as well. It's kind of like a redstone repeater in Minecraft if you ever played that. It pretty much boosts your Wi-Fi signal farther. It picks up what your router is broadcasting and then redistributes it again. So a lot of them are pretty easy to use. You can just plug them into the wall, follow a quick 30 second setup, and then you're pretty much good to go. It's a great way to improve your internet speed for gaming without having to move your router or gaming setup. And if you're interested in extending your Wi-Fi's range, we recommend the Linksys AC1900 range extender. It's pretty powerful, really easy to use, and pretty cheap. You can click the link down below to check its current price on Amazon. The next tip and probably the best one is going to be using a wired connection. If at all possible, use a wired internet connection. No matter how close you are to your router, a direct wire connection is always going to be faster. In fact, I have my PC right next to my router. It's literally six inches away. And I used a wireless connection for a while, but I decided to get an ethernet cable. I said, why not? I plugged it in and immediately I doubled my internet speed just like that. It was pretty crazy. We have an entire page on our website about gaming ethernet cables, which you can check out if you're interested. But yeah, using a wire connection is pretty important. The next one's going to be upgrade your ethernet cable itself. So there are actually several different kinds of ethernet cables. You've got Cat5, Cat5e, Cat6, right? Cat7. Each generation is faster than the previous. 
and uh, it's gonna help you increase your speed. Now, you don't need the fastest ethernet cable of all time for gaming, but you definitely will suffer more if you have a slower, older variant. So I would go for a Cat 5e or Cat 6 cable, just to be sufficient for gaming. I understand some of you can't move your router or you can't move your gaming setup and you happen to be super far away from your, from your router. And so that's a problem, right? You have to either, first of all, buy a super long cable. You have to run it through your house, whether you just have it on the floor or you have it on the wall or you like actually run it through the walls. All of those options are kind of crappy because you have to either have an ugly cable hanging out or spend a lot of time and or money trying to route it through your walls. So that's not really a viable option, but you still don't want to rely on wireless connection for gaming. So is there some sort of middle ground? Well, yes, there is. It's actually called a power line adapter, right? They're awesome. These bad boys make use of the existing electrical wiring in your home to send an internet signal. All you have to do is connect an ethernet cable from your router to your power line adapter. And usually a kit comes with two adapters and two ethernet cables. So you plug one of the ethernet cables into your router and one into the adapter. And then the adapter plugs into your wall. I just plug it right into an outlet next to your router. And then you can plug your other power line adapter into the nearest power outlet by your setup. And then the second ethernet cable that comes with it can come from the power line adapter and into your gaming console or gaming PC. What's gonna happen is it's going to actually send the Wi-Fi signal through the ethernet cable to your uh, adapter. It's gonna send this, the signal through your existing power line wiring in your house or circuitry, and it will come out the other end and go to your PC, so you don't have to route any cables, it's super simple. This solution is better than a wireless alternative, but it's not an actual replacement for an ethernet cable. I do want to say that ethernet cables are designed for the internet, and your home's power lines are designed for electricity, so obviously ethernet's more reliable than power line, and ethernet cables can transmit faster speeds, but it's better than nothing. The only other caveat, by the way, is you have to make sure that you're using the same circuit. So a small house is going to have one circuit, right, in the whole for the whole house. But if you have a giant, giant house with several different circuits within it, different power, you know, different breaker boxes, you might not have your setup hooked up to the same power uh, circuit as your router. If that's the case, you're not going to actually have a complete connection, so it won't work. But if you're in a giant mansion, you probably have enough money to upgrade your Wi-Fi, and if you are not in a giant mansion, then you should be good to go with this. So it kind of works itself out that way. If you are thinking about getting a power line adapter to improve your internet connection speed, I recommend the TP-Link AV2000. I've used it personally, and it worked like a charm. It was very easy to set up, really reliable, fast, and pretty cheap too, considering the value you're getting out of it. And best of all, I did not have to run an ethernet cable across my house. I got mine on Amazon for cheap with Prime Shipping. You can click the link down below to check out the current price. The next tip is going to be scan for viruses. If you're gaming on a computer, if you're a subscriber of mine, you probably are, or you have other computers in the house, you should check them for viruses with a virus scanner like Norton. They can hide on your computer and drain precious resources away from what you're doing, which will slow down your internet connection across all devices, not to mention steal some of your data. They're annoying and hard to find, but eliminating a virus is a great way to improve speeds. So I would definitely get one, but make sure that you actually get a reputable software. Some free virus softwares are actually viruses themselves. So make sure you pay for one and you get a good virus software like Kaspersky or Norton. I'll have a link for one down below in the description as well. The next one's going to be checking for on-system interference. This kind of goes hand in hand with the last one, but sometimes it's not actually a virus that's logged on your computer, but your virus detection software itself or another application on your PC. Like I said, some virus softwares can be viruses themselves. So I would just close down suspicious or uh, non-necessary applications over and over. Close them down one by one and test your internet connection speed to identify the culprit. And if you close down a program and find that your internet speed increases significantly, then you know that you have a winner. Next up is making sure your firmware and software are up to date. So most people don't know this, but their modem and router actually has its own software that needs to be updated on a regular basis, much like the drivers on your computer. Without up-to-date software, your modem and router's performance will suffer, and you can log into your router by following the model instructions. It's pretty easy, and you can use that to optimize your settings. So to learn how to log into your router, look at the label on on your router to find the model number. And then next, you guessed it, you can hit up Google, search for how to log into, and then insert your, your router's company name and model number. You should find the basic information you need to log in. And from there, you can make sure your router is updated and a bunch of other cool stuff too. The next one's going to be using your router's best settings. As I just mentioned, logging into your router unlocks a whole new world of optimizations. 
and each router shifts with its default settings, but they may not be the best settings for gaming by default. So logging into your router and tweaking the settings may have a good impact on gaming performance. For example, my router limited my PC's internet speed significantly, which I quickly fixed after I realized that, and once I removed the bottleneck, my internet speed soared sky high. So sometimes you might just have a weird bottleneck or something on your PC, which you want to check out with your router setting. The last tip I have is do not stress your network. If you live at home with a ton of people all using the Wi-Fi at the same time, this might be a stretch. You might be kind of out of luck, but I would definitely make sure that whenever possible, there's nobody else on the network if you have a slow internet connection. That's why I used to yell at my sister as soon as I began lagging. I knew she was watching some YouTube videos. Some applications use more Wi-Fi than others, by the way, so try to avoid intensive bandwidth you know, things like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, or downloading a video or streaming a video while gaming. They use a ton of bandwidth. If possible, don't use the internet for anything else is the moral of the story. I know that may be a stretch, but still, try to preserve as much bandwidth as possible for gaming. And lastly, if all of these things do not work, you're going to have to upgrade your internet package. I'm sorry to say it, but you're really going to have to do it. Uh, it's definitely the fastest and the easiest way to improve your internet connection. And again, it's not that much more money each month to get a really good internet package. And in the long run, it's going to save you a lot of headache, a lot of stress, and a lot of... Uh, just terrible, you know, it's gonna save you from lagging and being really pissed off and wanting to bash your keyboard or break your controller. So it's probably a good solution. And everyone else in your home network's going to be happier as well. Hopefully this video helped you. Again, if all those tips don't work, then you should upgrade, but one of them will pr or multiple of them will probably have a really good impact on your Wi-Fi connection. So again, I hope this helps you. Drop a comment down below of any questions you have, and I will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Peace.